So tell us, you will talk about instant payment. Instant payment is not maybe a, a, a key issue for a lot of our members because some have uh, classic B2B op operation, but some have B2C more and more operation. So it's a, it's a key regulation, as clearly mentioned by Anne and, and reminded by, by Aaron. So it, it's quite important. Regulation have a huge impact on our businesses, but instant payment, it's a good example of what I mentioned as opportunities. It's also an opportunity for Treasury to, to open doors to, to the businesses. And I would like to have a, a short up, update on instant payment, where we stand and where the Luxembourg Bank stand in terms of uh, possibilities to access instant payments. Absolutely, delighted to provide you with the regulatory update uh, on Eastern payments. As you mentioned, the uh, potential for optimization is quite high. Uh, obviously, you're invited to tackle regulation <laughs> as soon as possible. We have seen that uh, perhaps it's a law uh, at the bottom of priority list, but in turn, uh, as we said, uh, if tackled in advance, it can bring uh, actually uh, advantages. So um, what's up on instant payment? First of all, Instant payments are set to become the new normal for payment providers. And by payment providers, we uh, certainly include banks um, and other payment service providers, the key uh, e-money institution, um, payment institution, etc. But uh, for the moment, this regulation is actually uh, very relevant for banks. Uh, it's, uh, I can call it a silent revolution. Why silent and why a revolution? First of all, silent because uh, uh, the proposal from the European Commission to make instant payment the new normal came, uh, uh, was uh, both forward in uh, 2023, but quickly before Christmas uh, uh, last year was uh, actually um, it was reached an agreement to, to the final test and uh, right after Christmas was uh, approved by a massive vote by the European Parliament, the Council, and finally published on the Journal of the European Union. Entry into force 8th of April is already live and is uh, the potential, is the future actually. So Eastern payments, yes, they are already uh, offered, but uh, this regulation actually what seeks is to make uh, the uptake of Eastern payments mandatory under certain conditions. Meaning, what is an Eastern payment? Eastern payment is a credit transfer. But a credit transfer that is processed immediately. Meaning that the funds are actually transferred and available after 10 seconds, any day of the week, any calendar day, weekends, holidays and can be used immediately. So you see how this uh, can have a huge impact on treasury operations, uh, liquidity, uh, cash management. First point is actually that um, the uh, credit cards nowadays for B2C are uh, sort of the preferred payment method. Uh, the uh, penetration rate is very high. But it's expensive. It's costly for the for the customer. And this regulation actually make instant payment cheaper for the customers, and we will see how. Um, and this means that if the customers see uh, instant payments as an alternative, efficient way of payment, this can have a huge impact also for B two C. Uh, so the invite to you is uh, to be as uh, to to actually to be as close as possible to operational areas. Uh, is some, you have to think that Eastern payments um, will actually, uh, in some respects, simplify uh, cash and liquidity management uh, because uh, you might not uh, no longer rely heavily on credit lines, loans, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and even uh, uh, there is space for uh, optimization and simplification. Finally, we have to take into account that Eastern payments make the, um, the fraud, the risk for fraud, higher. So the regulation brings some sort of uh, new measure also regarding, and we will see how. I just want to mention, uh, just, uh, just for you to know, uh, an example. Who, who knows what is a spoofing? You know? What is it? Q 
correct, correct. It's an impersonation type, um, type of fraud, and uh, it means that the transaction is actually authorized, but on, based on manipulative technique. So this regula regulation introduced the IBA name check, which is actually uh, the preferred method by the European Commission to sort of um, uh, to sort of uh, uh, um, beat uh, fraud, you have to think that in European Union, based on the last impact assessment of the European Commission, the cost of fraud is uh, uh, one billion per year. So it's immense. Okay, so let's see what are the regulatory change, but in a nutshell, so it will be really the highlights. First of all, every payment service providers, including banks, of course, that nowadays offer credit transfer, so a normal, basic, simple credit transfer, will be subject to the obligation of uh, uh, sending and receiving instant credit transfer, meaning instant payments, 24 hours a day, any calendar day. Uh, but what is the, uh, what is actually, why this is uh, so revolutionary? Because the charge for instant payments cannot be higher than the charge for regular credit transfer. And this is where actually the customers can be encouraged to use this new method. Uh, obviously, uh, the aim of this regulation is uh, to um, facilitate, encourage competition and innovation in payments. So we have mentioned already uh, the verification of pay. This is, uh, will become really the new normal because uh, uh, will apply not only to instant credit transfer, but also to uh, credit transfer, normal credit transfer. It means that before authorizing a, um, a transaction, uh, there will be uh, an additional services provided by banks, for example, to check the, um, that the um, account holder uh, correspond to the IBAN uh, that is uh, held by the receiving banks. Uh, finally, to tackle fraud, uh, sanction screenings, uh, the banks will be ob obliged to run a master data screening on a daily basis against the EU sanctions. Okay, so regulatory timeline. So we said that the regulation entered already into force in April 2024. But ob obviously, it's important for, for banks and a payment service provider to have time to adapt. So the, very, the first cut date will be in nine months from April, meaning January 2025. By that time, banks will have to be ready to receive instant credit transfer, will have to apply the same level of charge, and to implement the new sanction screening. Uh, in 18 months from April, meaning uh, October uh, 2025, they will have to, uh, they will have to adopt the implemented operational measure for sending instant credit transfer. Um, actually, um, have uh, offered the service of uh, uh, free of charge the um, the verification of pay services, um, and then there is a derogation. Uh, for uh, payment institution, e money institution will be later, later on. So uh, a question uh, now <laughs> uh, arises for sure is, is Luxembourg market ready? Uh, we, have, uh, we had an event at PwC uh, last month to, to, with, the, with the banks, payment service provider, and actually the, the, the compliance burdens are huge. So we can expect a little bit of, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, not immediate response. Uh, however, the, the, the regulation stands where it stands with very high sanctions. Uh, the, the banks are trying to adapt. Um, but as, uh, as we see, this can be a huge opportunity to transform. And um, uh, payment cashless transaction will uh, certainly change the market. The estimate is uh, that uh, by 2030, um, the, pay the cashless transaction will be double and triple. Uh, so uh, what we will see? that banks we will deal, uh, you will deal with will certainly change their operational setup. 
uh, their sensual screenings, they, they will offer the VOP services, verification of pay, and uh, there will be an opportunity for the market infrastructure to change as well. No, very, very interesting comment, and, and maybe rather than a question, some uh, comment from our side. So first, uh, uh, we were the one also to defend this IBAN name check. We still don't know what will be the way to check, so I get that uh, LEI could be the best way or the one we recommended to, 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 to control uh -huh. and to mitigate the, the, the fraud cases, because when uh, you mentioned the IBAN, uh, the classic IBAN account fraud, it's more and more obvious in Luxembourg. We have a lot of members who, who faced fraud. Some some have lost money. So it's 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 an important one. It's it's an easy one. It seems to be a bit stupid, but but it works. And uh, whatever the way you try to get confirmation of the bank account, it takes time for the procurement and to onboard a new uh, uh, a new supplier. And at the end of the day, even a, a declaration from from your bank could be also fraud. So Absolutely. at the end, I, I think that uh, because of the time issue, we have been forced to find a solution. Mm -hmm. I guess it will be LEI. It's our recommendation because Glaive, based in Switzerland, mm -hmm. it's an independent mm -hmm. organization. And uh, it's the best way because we don't have a tax number that could be used across Europe because some countries like the Netherlands, Italy, etc., are already ready to check immediately the counterparty, providing mm. it's an Italian or a Dutch. Mm. But across Europe, there's another story. And uh, uh, we keep thinking it's important. And, and you also mentioned that the idea was to do that for instant payment. But if it works for the most, let's say, urgent or, or fast payment, it should work for all the payments. So in PSD2 on the review, Correct. we propose that PSD3 open the door. And apparently, to according to Eric de Colombier and Charles at the commission, they say that they will, let's say, generalize the uh, IBAN name check. So that's good news for us because we have huge payment, cross-border payment. It's also important sometimes to make sure, especially for acquisition, mm -hmm. that the counterparty is really the one uh, you want to pay to. Yes. So it's... It, it, it's really something that, that we, we've noticed. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I like your point on the bank because my impression was that the bank in Luxembourg so far are not really ready. A lot of banks still have the impression that it's not for them. If you are a private bank, a non-EU private yeah. bank, we have some here, they have the impression, not for me. And you can confirm that it. it's, it's Correct. for everyone. Correct. Unfortunately, Luxembourg markets has been uh, adapting, reluctant to, to adapt, but then um, uh, the regulation wording is wide, capture all business model, all channels, et cetera, et cetera. So it is impactful. So the, 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 crucial, um, uh, the crucial point would be to see how Luxembourg banks adapt. Some might rely on outsourcing initially. Some might be ready to actually invest a little bit more uh, in because the compliance burdens are actually huge. But in turn, if they invest now, it means that they will gain competitive advantage in the future. So the... the yeah. But I clearly understand if you're a private bank, uh, a non-EU private yeah. bank, maybe it's a bit unfair to, to comply to a regulation, yes. knowing that maybe none of your customer will use instant payment. But it, Correct. It, it, interesting topic uh, in any case. And uh, just to uh, a final comment from my side. So I have the impression that the intention of the EU Commission was to compete and to have a, a real competitor to the US credit cards. And uh, if we want to be successful, uh, what was not the case in the States for this uh, instant payment, mm -hmm. we need to have this IBAN name check. So it's where, why we were pushing to have immediately the instant, uh, let's say, IBAN name check, just to make sure, even if it's difficult, because 10 seconds is quite short, mm -hmm. 10 max. Uh, and furthermore, it's also uh, it also includes, but with a longer term, uh, the bulk payment, so we can have also right. bulk instant. Yes. Maybe some of the members do, do not know that, but uh, it's and it's quite important because if you want that to be successful, we need to have a, a, a secured uh, product, free and secured. Yes, yes, and the whole package is about actually um, uh, tackling fraud. So IBAN name check is uh, uh, an important tool. So, and will be actually a service uh, provided before the authorization of the payment. Yeah. So there is more uh, safety, let's say. But thank you very much for this uh, uh, interesting comment. And if you're not, uh, let's say, involved, uh, have a look at instant payment. It's a way to be closer to your operations, I guess. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Very much.